This is ASUS ZenBook UX305 and today I'm going to show you how to enable USB boot getting into BIOS and change the necessary settings. So first of all plug it in, switch off and switch off. Keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS and as you can see this is the traditional page which is for information the first one. So you're going to change couple of settings let's go to advanced by pressing the right arrow and the bottom option usb configuration has to be enabled okay and here the legacy has to be disabled if you'd like to install in uefi format and rest should be fine press esc once and then go back to boot menu from here as you can see there are a couple of boot options one of them the existing windows which is corrupted the first one and second one it shows my USB stick okay later on we're going to swap this I'm going to put my UEFI USB stick number one and then number two the windows which is existence and third one we need to go to security and enable the secure boot all right once it so the secure boot has enabled now we're going to change the boot priority option I'm going to hit enter and choose UEFI USB installer as the first one. And now we're going to save this by pressing F10 and hit enter. Okay. So let's do that. Secure boot again. Make sure that is enabled. Good. And save and exit. Now, if you do that, the system would automatically find the USB as a fast boot and the Windows setup will be loaded. Sometimes it takes time, a couple of minutes, which is absolutely normal. It could take longer if your USB is not fast enough. But that's pretty cool. Let's wait and check. So now let's choose the language to install. Install now, accept the terms and condition select the internal ssd or hard drive to choose where the windows would be installed safety next choose the custom which is bottom one now in this step very careful if you do have any data please don't delay those partition otherwise you're going to lose the data so make sure you back it up first if you don't have anything then you are good to go you can delete all of them just to create a single partition for the entire storage now hit next the windows system would copy everything in there and afterwards it's going to be finalized the setup take some updates and getting ready to run